in this session of complex number we are going to discuss the imaginary unit that means we'll discuss about i and this i will be equal to root over minus 1 that means i square equal to minus 1 consider this following quadratic equation we have to solve this equation to solve this equation what we can do x square equal to 25 by solving this equation you can get the value of x and that will come out plus minus 5 take this another equation x square plus 25 equal to 0 now we are going to solve this equation now this x square will be equal to minus 25 and hence x will be equal to plus minus root over minus 25 this one is the most critical point we have to take the under root of minus 25 in the previous case we have taken the square root of 25 and the square root of 25 will give 5 but what is the square root of minus 25 this one is the point which have introduced the concept of complex number right now this root over minus 25 we can write down root over minus 1 into root over 25 this root over minus 1 will be taken as i and this i is known as imaginary unit that means we can take i equal to root over minus 1 square root of minus 25 will come out i into root over 25 and this will come out i into 5 using this we can write down the solution of this equation x equal to plus minus 5 i due to the introduction of imaginary unit i we are able to solve this equation x square plus 25 equal to 0 to solve this quadratic equation we have introduced a new concept and this new concept i will be equal to root or minus 1 and this i will be called as imaginary unit and hence the solution of this equation will be given by x equal to plus minus 5 i this i is called the imaginary unit and this i will be equal to root over minus 1 what is the difference between these two equations this equation has the real solution but this equation has the imaginary solution and this imaginary solution is given by plus minus 5 i to solve this type of equation we have introduced new concept in mathematics and this new concept is known as imaginary unit right where i will be equal to root over minus one we have achieved a concept of imaginary unit and this imaginary unit i will be equal to root over minus one and from this we can say that i square will be equal to minus one this is the basically introduction of the imaginary unit and from this concept we have introduced the concept of complex number now take uh, some other examples suppose we have to take the square root of 16 then the square root of 16 will come out 4 now we are going to find the square root of minus 16 written as root over minus 1 into root over 16 and as we know that root over minus 1 is i and root 16 is that means it will come out 4i due to the introduction of the imaginary unit i we are able to find the square root of the negative number now we are going to discuss some properties of imaginary unit i as we know that i square equal to minus 1 now we can find the value of i raised to the power 3 this can be written as i square into i as you know that the i square is minus 1 that's why this will come out minus i now we can find the value of i raised to the power 4 that will be equal to i square into i square and as you know that i square is minus 1 hence this minus 1 into this minus 1 will give 1 hence what we have observed i square will be equal to minus 1 i raised to the power 3 will be equal to minus i i raised to the power 4 will be equal to 1 now find the value of i raised to the power 5 this i raised to the power 5 will be written as i raised to the power 4 into i and as you know that i raised to the power 4 is 1 and hence it will come out i now find the value of i raised to the power 6 and this i raised to the power 6 will be written as i raised to the power 4 into i square and hence as you know that the value of i raised to the power 4 is 1 and i square will be equal to minus 1 hence this will be 1 into minus 1 and hence it will come out minus 1 now find the value of i raised to the power 7 this i raised to the power 7 will be written as i raised to the power 4 into i raised to the power 3 I raised to the power 4 will be equal to 1 and i raised to the power 3 will be equal to minus i hence i raised to the power 7 will come out equal to minus i now find the value of i raised to the power 8 
this i raised to the power 8 will be written as i raised to the power 4 and that will be square as we know that i raised to the power 4 is 1 and hence i raised to the power 8 will come out 1. From these examples we can write down some properties for imaginary unit i and the property is given by this one i raised to the power 4k will be equal to 1 right where k is some integer i raised to the power 4k plus 1 will give i because it will be written as i raised to the power 4k into i and as we know that i raised to the 4k equals to 1 that's why i raised to the power 4k plus 1 will come out i now i raised to the power 4k plus 2 will be equal to minus 1 why because it will be written as i raised to the 4k into i square and as we know that i raised to the 4k will be equal to 1 and i square will be equal to minus 1 that's why this will come out minus 1. Now, i raised to the power 4k plus 3 will be written as i raised to the power 4k into i raised to the power 3. And as you know that i raised to the power 4k will be equal to 1. We have proved that i raised to the power 3 equal to minus i. And hence, this will come out minus i. This one is the property of the imaginary unit i.